Hi, everyone. If I may have your attention, please. Good afternoon. It's a great joy. We're all here together in good health. The weather is nice, a little chilly, but it doesn't feel chilly in here, does it? No, okay. So we're really blessed today to have little Katerina's baptism. And uh, Jonathan and uh, Jamie King are going to be the sponsors. Jonathan is playing the main role today, if you will, as the Nono, the Godfather. Uh, the first part of the service will take place in the narthex, where we will do the prayers of preparation, prayers of exorcism, because whoever is not baptized in Christ doesn't belong to Christ. God created us, but we of our own free will have to join Christ. We have to personally accept Jesus by word and deed. So, obviously, she can't speak as fully as we would expect her to for her to give the answers, so her sponsors will do that. Are you sitting on your cousin's or your sister's uh, lap? <laughs> I'm sitting here going, you're treating her like Santa Claus. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> And by the way, that was all recorded because I, when I'm, right now we're live on the internet and uh, what's nice is I'm recording this for you as well. So if you have family members, we can give you the link and you can, uh, you know, they can watch along as well. Uh, I have service books in the Narthex that uh, are available for you if you want to follow along. They're in English, like 90 some percent of the service will be in that common language so everyone can appreciate what we're doing. So after we do the prayers of... Um, exorcism, and then the espousing of Christ. We're going to shoo away Satan. We're going to accept Jesus. We're going to come in here. Then on the elevated platform, the solea, is where we will now pray to prepare the waters of the baptism and pray for her, for her physical and spiritual cleansing. We're going to change her and bring her over in her natural clothing, her birthday suit. We will then place the sacred oil on her, the blessed oil, so that she has physical healing against the ailments of life. That just doesn't last now, but it's going to last all the way for the rest of her life. And then we will actually baptize her in the waters, bring her out. We will anoint her with holy chrismation, which in the Western church is called confirmation, but it is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then she's going to be dressed. Well, you know what happens after you wash and you dress. You have to do what? Eat. So we're going to eat by hearing the word of God, the scriptures, and then she will receive the precious body and blood of Jesus and become a full member of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. So what that basically means is, at her tender age, she will be as valid of a member of the church as the rest of the family members. So that's a really awesome and sacred act. And then she'll come to church tomorrow and receive. And whenever she comes, because she is not under the burdens, if you will, of fasting and repentance, other than say you're sorry when you do a boo-boo, um, she will receive the precious body and blood of Christ and will literally grow in faith and knowledge, as St. Paul says. So that was a little synopsis of what's going to be taking place within ah, just about under an hour. But it's going to go well, and, and I think you'll be able to follow along and appreciate. So, without saying anything more, Jamie and Yanni, if you would please pick up this wonderful little girl. Bring it, Katerina, Catherine, to the back. If everyone would please rise and face the back. Again, if you want to follow along in a service book, we have them available in the narthex.
O Lord, God of truth, and that of your only begotten Son, and of your Holy Spirit, I lay my hand on this, your servant, Ekaterina, who has been found worthy to seek refuge in your holy name and protection to the shelter of your wings. Banish from her the error of old. Fill her with faith in you and hope and love, so that she may know that you are the only God, the true God, you and your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit. Grant her to live in accordance with all your commandments and to keep all things that are pleasing to you, for everyone who does these things shall find life in them. Inscribe her name in your book of life and join her to the flock of your inheritance. May your holy name and that of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and your life-giving spirit be glorified in her. May your eyes always watch over her in mercy, and may your ears always hear the voice of her petition. Make her rejoice in the works of her hands and all her progeny, so that she may give thanks to you, worshiping and glorifying your great and exalted name, and may praise you always all the days of her life. For every heavenly power sings your praises, and all glory belongs to you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and through the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord rebukes you, O devil, for he came into the world and dwelt among men in order to shatter, to shatter your tyranny and free mankind. Hanging on the cross, he triumphed over all the hostile powers. When the sun was darkened and the earth was shaken, when the graves were opened and the bodies of the saints rose, he destroyed death by death and conquered you, O devil, who had the power of death. I adjure you in the name of God, who revealed the tree of life and appointed the cherubim and the fiery sword that turns each way to guard it. Be rebuked and depart, for I adjure you in the name of him who walked upon the water as if it were dry land and calm the tempest, whose look dries up the abyss and whose threatening makes the mountains melt away. It is the same Lord who now commands you through us, fear come out and depart from this human being and never return nor hide in him, neither meet nor act upon him, not by night or by day, not at dawn or at noontime, but depart to your own darkness until the appointed great day of judgment. Fear God who sits upon the cherubim and looks down into the abyss before whom tremble archangels, angels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim, the six-winged seraphim, before whom tremble the heavens, the earth, the seed, all that is in them. Come out and depart from this soldier of Christ our God, who has been marked with the sign of the cross and newly enlisted. For it is in his name that I adjure you, the name of the Lord who walks upon the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flaming fire. Come out and depart from this human being with all your power and your angels. For the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit is glorified now and forever and through the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. God the Holy, the fearful, the glorious, incomprehensible, inscrutable in all his works and all his might, who ordained for you, O devil, the punishment of eternal torment through us as unworthy servants, orders you and all the powers that work with you to depart from her who has now been newly sealed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our true God. Therefore, I, impl I adjure you, most wicked and pure, abominable, loathsome, and alien spirit, by the power of Jesus Christ, who has all authority in heaven and on earth, who said to the deaf and dumb spirit, Come out of the man and never again enter into him. Depart amid the vanity of your power, which cannot even control the swine. Remember him who at your own request commanded you to enter into the herd of the swine. Fear God, by whose command the earth was made firm upon the waters, who made the heavens, who weighed the mountains and the balance of the valleys and the pair of scales, who placed the standards of boundary to the sea and the safe path in the raging waters, who makes the mountains smoke at his touch, who clothes himself with light as a garment who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who covers over his lofty dwellings with waters, who laid the foundations of the earth, so secure that it should never be shaken from them, who lifts up the water of the sea and returns it as rain upon the face of all the earth. Come out and depart from her who is now preparing for holy illumination. I adjure you by the saving passion of our Lord Jesus Christ and your sacred body and blood in your awesome return, for he shall come without delay to judge all the earth, as shall assign you and all the powers working with you to the fire of hell, having delivered you to the outer darkness, where the worm constantly devours and the, fire, and the fire is never extinguished. For the power belongs to Christ our God, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Επιτίμησον της ακαθάρτης πνεύμαση και δίωξαν αυτά, και καθάρισον το έργο των χειρών σου, και διωξίες σου χρυσάμες στην ενεργία σύντρεψον τον σατανά υπό τους πόδους αυτού εντάχει, αυτής εντάχει. Και δώσ' αυτή νίκας κατά αυτού και των ακαθάρτων αυτού πνευμάτων, όπως του παρεσού έλεος τη χάνουσα, καταξιωθήσα τον αθανάτο και προανίου σου μυστηρίων, και δόξα συναβέμψη τον πατρί και το Υιό και το Υπνεύμα την ίν και αή και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord and Master, the one who truly exists, who made man in your image and likeness and gave him power for eternal life. 
and did not forsake him when he fell through sin, but provided salvation for the world by the incarnation of your Christ. Accept this creature into your heavenly kingdom, having redeemed her from the bondage of the enemy, open the eyes of her mind, so that the illumination of your gospel may shine upon her. Attach to her life a radiant angel, who will protect her from every plot of the enemy, from every adverse encounter, from the demon of the noonday, from evil vision. Expel from her every evil and impure spirit hiding and lurking in her heart. Excel of Savatis Panda Poniron Kekatadu Bnevma, Kekrimen and Kefolevun Avtiti Gardia. Expel from her every evil and impure spirit hiding and lurking in her heart. The spirit of error, the spirit of evil, the spirit of all idolatry and greed, the spirit of lying and all uncleanness that is brought about by the teaching of the devil. And make her a reason endowed sheep in the holy flock of your Christ honorable member of your church, consecrated vessel and child of light and heir of your kingdom. But having lived in accordance with your commandments and having kept the seal inviolate and preserved her garment spotless, she may attain the blessedness of the saints to your kingdom. Do you renounce Satan and all his works, all his worship, all his angels, and all his pomp? Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship, all his angels and all his pomp? Have you renounced Satan and all his works and all his worship, all his angels and all his pomp? Have you renounced Satan? Have you renounced Satan? Have you renounced Satan? Then breathe out three times upon him. Do you pledge allegiance to Christ? Do you pledge allegiance to Christ? Do you pledge allegiance to Christ? Have you pledged 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 allegiance to Christ? Bow down and worship him. Blessed is God whose will is it that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Evlogitos o theos o pandas anthropus thelun sothine que se pignos in alithia seltin O Lord and Master, our God, call your servant, Ekaterina, to your holy illumination and make her worthy of this great gift of your holy baptism. Take away from her the old ways, renew her unto eternal life, and fill her with the power of your Holy Spirit unto union with your Christ, so that she may cease to be a child of the flesh and may become a child of your kingdom. Through the goodwill and grace of your only begotten Son, 
with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. For the voice of the Procreator gave testimony by calling you his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove showed the verity of the Word. Christ our God, who was the one revealed and delight in the world, we glorify you. Ευλογημένη Βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιωγητή Πνεύματος, blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the stability of the Holy Churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. this water may be sanctified by the descent power and energy of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For the grace and redemption, the blessing of the Jordan may be set down upon this water. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may receive the illumination of knowledge and piety through the visit, visit of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That this water may become a defense against every plot from visible and invisible enemies, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That she who is about to be baptized in it may become worthy of the incomparable kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For her who is now coming to holy illumination and for her salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That she may be made a child of light and an heir of eternal blessing, let us pray to the Lord. That she may become a partner and partaker in the death and resurrection of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. That she may preserve her baptismal garment with the pledge of the Spirit, spotless and blameless, at the dread day of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That this water may become for her a washing of regeneration for the remission of sins and a garment of incorruption, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That the Lord our God may hear the voice of our petition, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That she and all of us may be delivered from all distress, anger, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. She may glorify your holy name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Mega se kiri ke thamasta terga su ki adis logos exar kesi prosime to thalmasion su. Noxa se kiri e noxa se. Great are you, O Lord, and marvelous are your works, and no words are sufficient to praise your wonders. Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. 
great to you. Great are you, O Lord, and marvelous are your works, and no words are sufficient to praise your wonders. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. For you, by your own will, brought all that is out of nothing into being, and by your power you uphold the creation. And by your providence you govern the world, having put together all creation out of four elements. You crown the circuit of the year with four seasons. All the spiritual powers stand in awe before you. The sun praises you. The moon glorifies you. The stars converse with you. The light obeys you. The abyss shudders before you. The water springs serve you. You have stretched out the heavenly curtain. You have established the earth upon the waters. You have surrounded the sea with sand. You have poured out the air for breathing. The angelic powers minister unto you the choir of archangels who worship you. The many eyed cherubim and the six winged seraphim, as they stand round you and fly about, cover their faces and all before your unapproachable glory. For you are God, though uncontainable, without beginning and beyond speech. You came to earth and taken the form of a servant. You appeared in the likeness of men. For in your merciful compassion, Lord, you cannot endure to see the human race under the tyranny of the devil, but you came and saved us. We acknowledge your grace. We confess your mercy. We do not conceal your beneficence. You have set free all coming human generations through your birth. You sanctify the virgin's womb. All creation praised your appearance. For you are God, appeared on earth and associated with men. You sanctify the waters of the Jordan by setting down upon them from heaven your Holy Spirit, thus crushing the evil powers that lingered there. Amen. Therefore, O King who loves mankind, come now through the descent of your Holy Spirit and sanctify this water. Amen. Amen. And grant to it the grace of redemption, the blessing of Jordan, make it a fountain of incorruption, a gift of sanctification, a remover of sins, a protection against infirmities, a destroyer of demons unassailable by hostile powers, filled with angelic strength that all who plot against your creature flee from her. For I have called upon your name, O Lord, which is wonderful and glorious and terrible to your enemies. Amen. Let all adverse powers be crushed by the making of the sign of the precious cross. Amen. Amen. Let all adverse powers be crushed by the making of the sign of the precious cross. Amen. Let all invisible phantoms of the air retreat from us. Let no demon of darkness hide in this water, O Lord. And let no evil spirit which brings about confusion or thought of disturbance of the mind descend into it with her who is about to be baptized. But a master of all make this water, water of redemption, water of sanctification, a cleansing of flesh and spirit, a lifting of fetters, a forgiveness of transgressions, an illumination of the soul, washing of regeneration, a renewal of the spirit, a gift of adoption, a garment of incorruption, a fountain of life. For it was you, O Lord, who said, Wash yourselves and become clean, expel evil from your souls. You grant to us from on high a new birth through water and the spirit. Manifest yourself, O Lord, in this water and grant that she who is about to be baptized in it may be transformed so as to put away the old nature that is corrupted by deceitful desires and to put on the new nature that is renewed in the image of God the Creator. So that united with you in the likeness of your burial through baptism, she may become a partaker of your resurrection. And having preserved the gift of your Holy Spirit and increased the grace entrusted to her, she may receive the prize of being called the blessedness on high. It may be numbered among the firstborn whose names have been inscribed in heaven. And you are God and Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Stand still so you don't get stuck. Peace be with all, Irini Pasi. May you speak with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord and Master, the God of our fathers, who sent to those who know his ark a dove carrying a twig of olive in its beak as a symbol of reconciliation, deliverance from the flood, 
who through these signs prefigure the mystery of grace, who, su who supplied the fruit of the olive for the fulfillment of your holy sacraments, and through it filled with the Holy Spirit those who are under the law and made perfect those of the grace. Bless this oil through the power and energy and visitation of the Holy Spirit, that I may become an anointing of incorruption, a weapon of justice, a renewal of soul and body, defense against every influence of the devil, and a release from it to all those who are anointed with in faith or partake of it. To your glory and that of your only begotten Son, and your all holy and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and through the ages of ages. Amen. Proskomen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Proskomen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us be attentive. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Make a cup. Blessed is God who lives and sanctifies everyone who comes into the world now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The servant of God, Katerina, is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for sweet fragrance to hear the words of faith. My mouth shall speak your wisdom for healing of soul and body, to step over serpents and scorpions, all the power of the enemy, to walk in your footsteps. Your hands have made me and fashioned me he who wishes to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. It's all right. Amen. Set your hands out. To you. Amen. Amen. servant of God, Katerina, is anointed the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The servant of God, Katerina, is conjured in the name of the Father. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Kione bikalifted son, e amarate. Let's say our dos kurong. To Kiri de Tomen, Kiri Lays, and Vasily, you have God Almighty, the source of all blessings, the Son of Righteousness, who shone with the light of salvation on those in darkness through the manifestation of your only begotten Son. And now, God, and who gave us the unworthy, though we be blessed, cleansing through holy baptism and divine sanctification through life giving to the nation, who now also have been well pleased to regenerate. 
ए अमरती Never mind him, 
κυρώσινον δε σε ψαλόν, υπερήμνητος τον Πατέρα και Θεός ημός ευλογητός You have been justified, you have been illumined, you have been baptized, and you have been illumined, you have been chrismated, and you have been sanctified, you have been washed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you all. Lord our God, who through the fullness of the font in your goodness has sanctified all those who believe in you, bless this child here present, and may your blessing descend upon her. Head, as you bless David the king by your prophet, Samuel, bless also the head of your servant Ekaterini by the hand of me, a sinner, visiting her with your Holy Spirit so that she may grow in years and reach a ripe old age and may offer glory to you and behold all the blessings of Jerusalem all the days of her life. For unto you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As many as have been baptized into Christ have put on On Christ. Christ. In order, we just 
as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so also he might live a new life. For if we become one with him, he did as he did. In the same way we shall be one with him by being raised into life as he was. And we know this, our old being has been put to death with Christ on the cross, on the order where the power of this itself might be destroyed, so that we should no longer be the slaves of these sins. For when a person dies, he is set free from the power of this sin. If we have died with Christ, we believe what we will also live with him. For we know that Christ has been raised from the dead and we never die again. Death has no more dominion over him. The day he died was death of the sin once for all. And in the life he now lives his life to God. In the same way you are to think of yourself as there is dim into sin, but alive to God is Jesus Christ, our God. Peace be to you who has read to us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom, stand and arise. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. At that time, eleven disciples went to Galilee, the mountain to which Jesus had directed them, and when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let him deny himself, pick up his, your cross, and follow me. The servant of God, Ekaterina, received the precious body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us again pray for mercy, life, peace, health, and salvation for the newly illumined servant of God, Ekaterina, for her parents, sponsors, relatives, and all here present. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful, loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ, our God, our hope, glory to you, may Christ, the true God, who accept and be baptized into the Jordan oh. by John for our salvation, through the intercessions of his most pure and only Father, Holy Mother, of the venerable, glorious prophet of Foreign John the Baptist, holy, glorious, and praise with the apostles, of St. Catherine, whose name the neophyte has received, and of all the saints of mercy and us to save us, for he is a good God who loves mankind. Fie fond de nagyon pater animon, kiris kustel feos, eleis ogisos animas. Amen. If you would please stand to my left. Parents, would you please come forward, stand to my right. Everyone else may be seated. We present your child a full-fledged member of the Holy Orthodox Church after receiving the sacred sacraments of Holy Baptism, Holy Chrismation, and Holy Communion. Take good care of her and protect her from falling and from fire and from water. And her name is? Baptized as? Got it. <laughs> may, God, may God, that was a, probably the hardest question he ever answered in his life. <laughs> Um, may God bless you and keep you that you may enjoy this sacred day and the newness of life that has come to your family. And if any time you want to make another reservation for another baptism, Father and I are available. So <laughs> if you would please now return Ekaterina to her parents and both of you will kiss the right hand of uh, Yanni, who is the nono. Well, we spent, obviously, a few moments in the beginning of the service explaining to you what was going to happen, so now that's the easy part. You saw how she was, an absolute kukla, an absolute doll. Um, she made wonderful eye contact. She was very pleasant. Now, before you take that as, so what happens if a child isn't like that? Does that mean the child's bad? No, absolutely not. But I will say, unselfishly, that her parents have laid a quality faith foundation for her. So I congratulate the two of you, because you've done the job and you're doing it well. So now here's where all of us play an important role. No, Mike, I'm not talking about the lunch downstairs. I'm talking about the fact that from this moment on, all of us have to participate in helping raise her with the fear of God, with faith, and with love. You can hand her, as she gets older, the Holy Bible, and she'll read it. You can give her the lives of saints, and she'll appreciate it. But if she looks at you, and she looks at me, and she wonders, well, wait a minute. Why aren't we doing what we're supposed to be doing? Well, then we have a problem. So to raise a child, the African saying is, it takes a village. Well, in a sense, she now has inherited a village. First and foremost, Jamie and Yanni have become the sponsors uh, to participate in raising her with the fear of God, with faith, and with love. All of you play the same role because we need one another. We are not independent of one another. Don't think that your life doesn't affect me and someone else. It does. 
So the way we talk, the way we live, the way we act, the way we recreate, all means something. Today, where our society is suffering very much with what Father and I will agree is an identity crisis. We have an identity crisis, not just as who we are as American citizens, who we are as Christians. Really, who we are as Christians. We have a severe identity crisis. And the only way that can change is not by some law or legislation. It's not even by someone who is in civil authority. The one who changed the world, for better, is the one who created the world. And he created us in his image and likeness. That's Jesus Christ. Invite Christ into your life on a daily basis and fight hard to uphold Christian values more than we try to uphold our Democratic, Republican, or other party beliefs. Because that's the problem. We make Christianity second or third, and we make other things first. I'm Greek. I am Republican. I, well, that's all the recipe for failure. Why not, in humility, faith, and love, be honored that we're Christians? Because they'll know we are Christians. How? By our love. And just like that song that we've heard back in the older days, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. What love? God. Because as St. John says, O Theos agapi esti. God is love. That's the love that's missing in the world. But not here in this family, not amongst all of you. Well done, friends. So, if we can have... Um, Katerina, come forward with her parents and the sponsors. They're going to get the witness crosses, and they're going to stand here in the center with the parents first, then the sponsors, the grandparents and relatives will come down the center aisle. You'll greet them here. You'll go out to the left, and then you'll let other people come forward. You're probably going to wait to take a few pictures. You're allowed to do that. After 260 pictures, the church gets 10%. the meal as soon as we go